Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. We are actually in Nashville, Tennessee. And this place is absolutely hopping and it's like uh, a weekday in the morning. It's I can't um, it's, it's what day is it? I don't know. I can't imagine what this place is like on the weekend. It is crazy here. First time here, right? First time here, I'm gonna go pick up a guitar, go play, yep. I'll learn some things. It's just crazy. Live music at eleven AM. I could spend all day down here because it's absolutely incredible, but I'm in Nashville, Tennessee for a podcast. And that podcast is with this guy here, of course, Theo Vaughn. First off, Theo, thanks up, for guys? thanks for having me, brother. I can't I'm super excited to be here. Oh yeah, man. I'm real I'm happy you guys are here, man. I've been having snake issues myself at home, so I'm grateful that you guys are here. We're here to help you. Well, I don't know if I believe that 100% right now looking at you, because you seem like you're doing something else, but yeah. I'm hopeful that you guys are, man. Well, listen, I want to introduce you just to a couple animals, okay? Mm -hmm. So this first one, I'm going to put around your neck. Okay. This is actually an albino Burmese python. Okay. And how do we see him right now, okay? You guys seem really good. How right. do you feel? Do I hold his tail? What do I do? Am I you, okay? You do good. Right. You, you don't have to be a statue. I'm doing good. You're good? Okay, so Theo's doing good so far. I oh think my God, bro. This thing trying to... Tickle me, bro. <laughs> You're doing good. Well, uh, I'm going to show you just a couple more things really quick, all right? Dude, it's got something else in the back. What is that? It's his tail. Oh, it's God, a... bro, bro. Come on, man. What is that? <laughs> no, 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 it's a lizard. It's a lizard. Damn, boy. Take a look at it. It's got a blue Hold tongue. on, dude. Hold on before you come. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to come. I, love, I, li I like you. Yeah. Good guy. Nice guy. Tell me what's going on before you all just right. walk over all here right, with so that, man. This that is... A... is... It's a blue tongue skink from Australia. Okay. It's got a blue tongue. Okay. And it's a lizard. Okay. Super tame. Okay. It eats vegetables. Okay. And a little bit of cat food. That's it. Oh yeah, my friend used to feed cat food to an animal that he had. Yeah, probably um, cat, most likely. Will yeah, it bite me? It will never bite you. These are super, super tame. You don't what have to hold it. What could it do when I'm holding it? Uh, nothing. Okay. It, if you want, just put your hands out and literally just like that. And it'll just sit there, just like that. And what does it eat? So it'll eat cat food and veggies. <laughs> <laughs> One last animal, all right? It better be a damn rabbit. You know what I'm saying, boy? This thing better have a collar and a number and a phone and a name on it, man. This is a ball python. Okay, hold on, Brian. You walk too fast with them, man. I'm That's sorry. one of your sorry. main issues. Oh, I gotta I got slow it down. I'll slow it down. I'll slow it down. Because look, it's already got its neck all jacked out. Nope, it's good. This is a ball python. It's, it's not drama. good. Do you, are you looking at it? Yeah, it looks good to me. This is named Drama. Do you know why I call it Drama? Damn, huh? Drama is because it has a right side up head, uh, smiley face emoji and an upside down smiley yeah. emoji. These guys come from Africa. Dude, I'm telling you. Okay, point it the other way. I'll point it the other way. Okay. It's like a lot it. what's going on here. Straight <laughs> like this. Okay, and you know this thing has never bit you? Never. It's three years old. I had it since I hatched it as a baby. Let me top button this up, okay? Just like that, mm -hmm. and it'll just sit in your hand like that. And this will help you with your snake fears. You're doing really good. That's the end. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Thanks, okay. brother. So listen, guys, we're going to do this podcast. You can go over to Theo's channel. Uh, it's going to be there. I'm going to put a link in the description. Uh, obviously, see this guy on tour. Just show him love on instant and everything. All his links below. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you, man. Dude, thank you so much, man. All right. <laughs> I had a snake room and yeah. by the time I was like 17 I had like 200 snakes in my mom's basement she like didn't know what? she just wouldn't come downstairs you know and you, you have you know when you have 10 snakes what's 12 snakes what's 15 snakes you know That's what I mean snakes, so yes yeah, more snakes but yeah I ended up having like 200 snakes but the oh. thing is dude literally I started breeding snakes I was 17 years old I made like 40 grand in my mom's basement when I was 17 breeding really? snakes yeah so really? I was yeah so I was able to and literally. who's buying them are you meeting people outdoors are you meeting people indoors <laughs> where are you how are you getting rid of these you're yeah, showing up you got a little 
is it in like a briefcase? Like, how are you? Where? How do you even? Where do you even <laughs> meet anybody? You'd be surprised how many people you. I've done a lot of deals in the Walmart parking lots. There's Have no you really? doubt about that, but not anymore. <laughs> but uh, when I was, like, but that was pre-internet. So uh, yeah, there was like reptile shows and like you know like reptile conferences and stuff. Yeah, like yeah. That. I've been now. I've been to one of those before, and that what? was really oh, that was so alarming, dude. It was so <laughs> scary, uh, and that that the whole thing just really. I, I I think about snakes. It's the element of surprise man that was the same thing that happened in my kitchen the other day i get a snake came through and i didn't know he's there like an yeah. animal you know a little you know you see a puppy you see a little falcon or something yeah. realistic you know it's it's a little bit more like oh look at this you know it's more noticeable maybe it have a bell on its neck back at the shop it was definitely an awesome trip you know we have an interesting sloth encounter that's about to happen hey no really like it or really not like it. <laughs> Pretty exciting guys. We actually have Velocity here, which is the uh, mascot for the Sloth running team. And they're actually here to see Drogo. And uh, so we're gonna have a Drogo experience. You excited? I'm very excited. All right, let's go see Drogo. So this of course is Drogo. And we'll see, he's just giving him a minute to kind of get used to you and stuff like that. He's just kind of looking like, wow, I don't know what this is. But it's pretty cool. You can reach out and pet. He's all right, he'll be all right. You don't think so? I'm telling you right now, he's squeezing me tighter than I've literally ever felt in my really? life. Really? Yeah, yeah, just uh, try to feed him. So I get him off of him, huh? what? It's okay. You think it's because you think you see the other swab? Him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, he's so yeah. scared. <laughs> so Drogo's a little bit freaked out because, of course, he's never saw a big costume like this. So, so we're just trying to get him kind of comfortable, get some shots, get some pictures, stuff like that. So, uh, but he's definitely, he just doesn't know what to think. He's never seen anything like it before, right? So he's like, oh my gosh, it's like a giant slot. Jessica and Bruce actually went over to Tinley J was there as well, and you got a couple things. What did you get? Oh my gosh, let's see what it is. Well, I got one thing for the reptarium and one thing for down here in my room. Okay, cool. So what do we got? Reptarium. Okay, reptarium first I love false chameleons they are so amazing I mean look at this animal I'm so glad you got this this guy's still juvenile so yeah, these guys get pretty big they are so cool this They're is a nice boy. Yeah, this is oh, a boy. we've got to find a girl too, yeah, right? Sure, yeah. Oh my gosh, they are so crazy. And obviously, they're not like a chameleon, like a like a panther or something like that. They're actually they're a knollis. Is that yeah, what they're, yeah, yeah, they're, they're similar to the Cuban uh, giant anoles. Yeah, just yeah. like the night anoles, but they are just so absolutely amazing. So, so definitely, that's cool. That's going to be a cool new thing at the Reptarium. We'll try to get a female for it. Loving it. And then tell me what you got for down here. I'm excited about these guys. So first one I got here. This is a Sarasinorum gecko. Right. Or a Sarah's gecko. Oh my gosh these are so cool so this one's a white collar they come in a couple different uh colorations or patterns mm -hmm. uh this is the less common one uh, okay. the more common one's pretty much all patternless like okay. all brown gotcha and then but these guys get bigger than a uh, crested gecko really look at these... it it almost looks like a crested gecko. exactly and these are new caledonian as well yep so that's perfect for this room and this is a girl or a boy this one's a female okay so we got to yeah, get a we maybe gotta get a male. yeah may get a pair you know yeah, that way yeah. we have a so trio, have a trio. Yes, exactly sure. it sounds cool <laughs> awesome wow that's so cool so what is this so this is called a chameleon gecko um or a urodactylode agricole so oh there's four gosh. different types of chameleon geckos i forget if i don't think this is the largest one i'm still learning a little bit about these guys but they're also new caledonian species wow so these guys are dope i've never even seen these to be totally honest with you so this is absolutely incredible i mean the tail is really interesting it's like the tail is as long as its body it's got a very cool looking color almost like a day gecko ish but in like a, a kind of more camo look to it. wow that is yeah. so cool this one's got some nice orange too and like oh uh, its legs oh my gosh some great pickups, Jessica. Good way to go. Yeah, That's I'm awesome. Excited. That's awesome. <laughs> you know, it's actually interesting. About a week before I went down to see Theo, he actually had posted that a snake got into his house and that he was really freaked out by it. And I'll be honest with you, I thought he was playing it up a little bit. And even when I first showed him the first snake, I thought he was kind of playing it up for the camera a little bit as well. But the truth was, he was pretty traumatized by the fact that there was a snake that he found in his kitchen in his house. So much so that he like got snake repellent. He had like snake traps. I mean, he was really really freaked out. So I think it was really cool that the first time we put the Burmese python on Theo, he was really freaked out. He wasn't just acting about it, but then it was kind of interesting. He was like, hey, can I do that again? And he wanted to do it a second time. I could kind of see that he was kind of making a little bit of a breakthrough. So I really do believe that he's going to be in a better shape and that he isn't going to be nearly as freaked out by him. But I was actually a little bit surprised by it. But I tell you what, I think we helped him start to get over that fear. And it's like I told Theo, when it comes to like the fear of animals and stuff like that, 
you know, you gotta respect them, but not fear them. You know, Lucy blew her cage up, which means we have to go in with Lucy right now. I don't fear this animal, but I respect her a tremendous amount, and I handle her with confidence, right? So I know when I'm opening this door, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna see what she's gonna do, and right off the rip, come on, girl. You're all right, baby girl. Whoa, whoa. Came at me a little weird there, but she's all right now. She's just got a little bit of stuck shed on her, not too much. So what I'm gonna do is, whoa, whoa, whoo. She is a spicy girl, there's no doubt about it. What I'm gonna do is just get her in a little bit of a soap and get that little bit of stuck shed off and then we can clean her cage up. Oh, you go girl. Mikey, Mikey, let's go. Mikey likes it. Ah, oh, there we go. Come on, sweetheart. I know you like the water. Hang on, hang on. I know you like the water, girl. Come on, girl. Sheesh, this is a slippery one today. There we go, baby. There we go, whip me. Whew, tell you what, that was a little bit of a trip, but uh, Went pretty well. So again, confidence, respecting, not fearing. Right, Mike? Yeah. How'd it go, Mike? How'd you feel? Confident. <laughs> <laughs>I wanted to introduce you to a new animal ambassador here at the Reptera, and that's Terrence the Tegu right here. Hey buddy, come on, come on out. Oh, there you go Terrence, what's going on buddy boy? What an absolutely amazing animal. Again, remember we had the red Tegu? We ended up rehoming it, his name was Tamale. Beautiful animal, absolutely lovely animal, but the problem was is it hated people. You know, I bought it from a guy that said it was super tame. It was far from tame. Not only did it hate people, but it would try to bite, it would run away. So we ended up getting another tegu that a friend of ours actually donated to the zoo. We've had him for a little while, quarantined him a little bit. Now he's finally over here at the Reptarium. It's actually a black and white tegu from Argentina. And this guy is unbelievable. I mean, just take a look at how incredible it is. And it's just amazing, because again, since we lost Taz a while ago, we always loved that tegu. You know, there's something special about taking a tegu out just like this, where you can just play with it, you know, just, you know, hang out with you. They're such amazing animals. And I love tamale, you know, it was such a cool looking animal. But listen, we're all about interaction here. And when we have an animal like tamale that hates people and could potentially bite and inflict a bad bite, we had no choice but to rehome it and replace it with another one. And although I would have loved to get another red tegu, the truth is, is that this one came up and it's super tame. It was someone's pet and, oh, is he gonna go back home like Tazzy used to do? I don't know if he's going to. Oh my God, these guys are so amazing. The truth is, is it's absolutely an incredible animal. Loves people to death. And uh, yep, it looks like it might be pulling the Tazzy on us here. And there he goes. <laughs> that makes me miss my Tazzy so much. I mean, but this is an amazing animal ambassador that we've added. I'm super excited about it because now we have a Tegu that we could take out again that kids are gonna love. We could take it to presentations and stuff like that. So guys, meet Terrence the Tegu. Just a little update on Ivy and Jazz, the anacondas here. You can kind of see he's doing some courting action right here. We've actually seen him locked up a couple more times. The truth is, is typically they don't breed until spring and have babies usually around, you know, August, September area. So I'm not thinking that there's anything going to come from this breeding, although females can also retain sperm, right? But my point is, is that they're definitely in the mood and they're definitely breeding quite a bit. So it's pretty cool. And you can see him kind of that action of him curled around here like that. That's a little bit of a courting thing. And what will happen back here is tail is coming over here. With anacondas, you'll see them kind of wrap around two or three times. And that's where they actually hook up. It's kind of unique to an anaconda the way they breed. But they have been breeding on and off for the last couple weeks. So I have a feeling next year, Ivy is going to be a mama. All right, Lucy should be all soaked up and ready to go. You looking good, girl? Yes, you are. Again, that skin should come right off. No problem. Whoa! It's okay, girl. It's all right. Get that skin off right there. Oops, coming for you, Noah. No. Woo! Don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me. Don't bite me. She's not gonna bite. Yeah, okay. There she goes. She's looking beautiful now. All right, we'll just let her go right back in. Of course, she'll always go into a tree, I'm sure. Wow. That's... Look at that. She looks so good. Yep, there she goes. She's so predictable. But she always wants to climb up when she gets there. You know, it's so when you get her out like this, you realize how absolutely long she is. She's not a super fat snake, but again, you don't want a retic that's gonna be so fat that it's gonna be shortened in its life, right? She's lean, she's mean, she looks great. Of course, she'll probably beef up a little bit more. She's been off food for about a month because I think she's kind of getting some follicle growth. She'll be back on food soon and uh, <laughs> get her back in her tree, just like she always does. Hope you enjoyed the journey and enjoyed the ride. Theo is an absolutely amazing guy. Again, links in the description. 
If you did enjoy this video, here's actually a playlist of other collaborations I've done that you guys may want to check out. On this side, do me a huge favor, hit that subscription button, turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.